Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Dragon Quest VIII. We have the ultimate key now. There it is. Opens any treasure chest or door. So you know what that means. I got fully healed, huh? Um, okay, well, I guess we will uh, use the Hermes hat. All right. Let's go ahead and make a thorough, a thorough search of every location. It's a new day, everyone! Alright. Hello. You'll never guess what. There's, okay, you are, you are still stuck saying that, huh? Alright. Bye! Don't smell much of the way of treasure around here, Gov. Looks like it's all been pitched already. Alright, now I may have missed the uh, the guy that I can show the ring to. Some people were saying where he might be. And I'm not sure if I did it or not. I may have done it and I just don't remember. If you're looking for that rather wealthy looking couple who were staying here before, they've gone home now. It was a funny thing, you know. The wife had lost a ring, but it turned out her husband had actually dropped it down a well by mistake. Should have seen it when he finally owned up to her. There was one almighty row, I can tell you. He got such a tongue lashing that he went out and bought her a brand new ring there and then. That seemed to calm her down a bit. After that, they didn't need to stay here in Fairbury anymore, so they went home. Okay, I, I'm pretty... I, I believe that means that I did do this, because, uh... I think they would still be here if I hadn't. I could be wrong, but I don't know. You what? You're telling me you lot beat that scary old jester? Oh, I knew it. I knew that bloke was a no-gooder. What are you looking at me for it like that for? I ain't like him. Who are you to judge anyhow? <laughs> All right. Uh, I don't think Alexandria has anything. I don't think Port Prospect has anything. Kurgan Key, Myella Abbey, Simpleton, Ruined Abbey, Side Chapel, Escantha? No, I don't think so. Monster Arena, no. Pick'em does. I may off camera zip through to some of these places. Um, I wanted to go back here to check for that guy and also see if the. Uh, the runner had anything new to say. And he did not. Alright. I think it is down those stairs? No, actually, I don't think it is. Is that Tornado? I think that might be a wanted sign for Tornado. By the smell of it, there's four treasures somewhere around here, Gov. Okay, I think there's a door back here. I think this is how we get to it. If I remember correctly. Yes. In we go. All right. Interesting, okay. What? Alt finds a mini metal and puts it in the bag. Treasure chest is locked. Alt unlocks it. What? Alt finds a power shield and puts it in the bag. Treasure chest is locked. Alt unlocks it. What? Alt finds a rune staff and puts it in the bag. I already had that. Uh oh, the treasure chest is actually a mimic! Oh no! A mimic draws near.
to see if we can get anything. Ooh, got an iron nail. Okay, never mind. Yeah, whatever. It's just a mimic. I'm not too worried. Oh, Jesus. Mimic is defeated at 128 experience points, 72 gold coins. All right. So only an iron nail. I was hoping for something a little bit better. Yep. It's all been pitched. That is not where I want to go. That is where I want to go. Okay. I don't think the Swordsman's Labyrinth had anything. To Trodane! I definitely know that they had some things. Or our castle, I should say. I'm not sure if I can get into the main door or not. Infernal armor and Garuda. Let's go ahead and intimidate. <laughs> I like the infernal armor uh, walking backwards. Can we get in this door? I cannot remember. Can't run through the little uh, garden area. There's only one thing that we fight around here. One thing. And we may not encounter it, so. See if I can remember how to get to the treasure room. Okay! <laughs> Liquid Metal Slime makes the first strike. The cast is. Metal Slash. Not sure how Grim Reaper would have works. Damage. Smoothly dodges the attack. Okay. Two points of damage. One point of damage. Ah, it fled. I should have saved stated. Oh well. It's fine. Don't really uh, need the XP. I have gotten quite a bit. Door is locked. Is that... Is that where I need to go? I don't think so. Wailing weeds.
think it is out this way if I can get to it. I'm not sure if I can. Hunter Mix and Wailing Weeds and a Cure Slime. Hunter Mix suddenly attacks. Okay, so they cannot be intimidated, it looks like. And they're dead. 152 experience points, 40 gold coins. No, this is blocked off. Okay. Alright, I do need to go up uh, the uh, stairs, I think, and. Because it's over on that side. get over there. Okay, that is actually not a terribly helpful map. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I think I want to go to those stairs over on the right. Ding! Alchemy pot. All right, suit of bandit mail. All the pains of suit of bandit mail. Uh, let's look at recipes and see what incomplete recipes we have. Sage's robe I need. Magical garment plus scholar's cap. I don't have a spare scholar's cap. Holy clothes, flowing dress. I don't think I have a flowing dress. Assassin's dagger. A sharp dagger plus something poisoned. Actually. Do I have a snakeskin whip somewhere? Yes. And I'm going to assume it's two scales here. Wailing weeds. Go ahead and intimidate them. Excellent. Right, is that? Yeah, I think this is where I want to go. Eventually, this place will be easier to navigate, I think. It's not there. Um, I think we go down here. Alright, more of you guys. The enemies suddenly attack. They surprised us. They actually surprised at that. And out they go. No item drops, so. 
I'm not sure if I realized that they, uh, they had wings on that statue. There it is. The treasure chest is locked. Ald unlocks it. Lot Ald finds a seat of magic and puts it in the bag. Treasure chest is locked. Ald unlocks it. Lot Ald finds a vial of Yggdrasildu and puts it in the bag. Ooh, very nice. Treasure chest is locked. Ald unlocks it. Lot Ald finds a rusty old sword and puts it in the bag. Treasure chest. The treasure chest is locked. Ald unlocks it. Lot Ald finds a mini metal and puts it in the bag. Excellent. Okay, now, nose for treasure. Okay, so we have uh, pinched all of uh, the treasure now. Now we need to uh, get them, uh, get out of here. I want to see if I can unlock that door that was locked. Dragonthorn appears. Get out of here. <laughs> looks, they look really silly when they're running. The door is locked. Okay, no, I cannot. All right. Go ahead and evac. Okay, Trodane, Princess Minnie's castle, I think, has some. We can turn in some mini medals as well. Yes. Just in front of everyone. Well, he has the key. Obviously, he must be allowed to go in there. The treasure chest is locked. Ald unlocks it. Wad Ald finds a double-edged sword and puts it in the bag. The treasure chest is locked. Ald unlocks it. Wad Ald finds a seat of strength and puts it in the bag. The treasure chest is locked. Ald unlocks it. Wad Ald finds a mini metal and puts it in the bag. You just have a mini metal here in, in the castle. Treasure chest is locked. Ald unlocks it. Wad Ald finds a seat of life and puts it in the bag. Okay. We have pinched all of the treasures. Well, hello. I'm Minnie, Princess of Meadows, you know. I collect mini meadows from all over the world. Oh, how simply delightful. You've brought one some mini medals already. Let one have a look then. This brings the total number you've brought one to 78. Permit one to bestow upon you a suit of sacred armor as an expression of gratitude for the 75 mini medals you have collected on our behalf. Ald receives, receives a suit of sacred armor. Let us see. To date, you have brought one 78 mini medals. When the total reaches 83 mini medals, one shall bestow upon you a piece of Orihalcum. An expression of our gratitude for your sterling efforts. Isn't it thrilling? All right. Orihalcum is next. That is pretty good. Only useful for um, alchemy, of course, but still quite good. All right. Neo. I don't remember. We'll find out.
I don't think so, but... Alright, looks like it's been pinched already. Church, Baccarat. Don't remember. We'll go to Baccarat and find out. One treasure around here. I may look for this later. I don't think that's going to be locked up. Well. Let's look. Let's do a quick look. I really do not remember. I do not know what that one item, that one last thing is. Should probably smash anything I come across. Just in case I uh, find it in the meantime. It's something that I missed. I do wish you could get a little bit more, like, narrow down uh, where the item might be. That would be nice. Anything around here? No. When we don't have any visitors, all I have to do around here is keep an eye on my on my brother. Like counting how many times he yawns an hour. Sitting around here with my butt parked in a chair for hours on end isn't exactly the most exciting thing in the world for me either. Now I finally understand why my father used to knock off work early and go out on, on the town so often. Well, I mean, if you've got a lot of wealth, maybe you should start using it for something, then. Just a thought. What did I miss? Because I do not remember if there is a locked uh, door here at all. Oh, maybe by the, uh, the bank. Alright, well, we'll go check that out after... After we're done here. I mean, we're here. We might as well check everything before we uh, go do that. Just to be on the safe side. Alt finds a seed of wisdom and puts it in the bag. Okay, there it is. That is what I missed. Did miss a regular item. There is nothing locked up. That's a pretty good one to uh, to have gotten. That's it's, uh, unfortunate that I missed that one. This is a fantastic view out here. Okay, so we're done with Baccarat. Chateau Felix has nothing. Mystical Spring doesn't. Argonia does. Whee! 
Good thing that the uh, hat comes with us when we throw it in the air, and also, um, it's, it's good that the, uh, you can't get blown away or something, you know? It is about time to end the episode, but uh, we are going to get the treasure in here first. Three treasures, okay. I finally managed to give those employees of Mr. Goldie and the Royal Brush Off. They were an insistent bunch. I wonder what, what it was they wanted. I suppose I should have asked at the time, really. Y yeah! That would probably be a good thing. It probably would have been a good thing. Jeez. I haven't brought up the matter of the Argon Heart with Charles yet. So make sure you don't tell him that I know the truth, alright? Okay. I think I need to get up to the exterior area. Let's see if this does it. Wait, no, actually. This might be it. Well, it's not the part that I want. <laughs> it is an exterior area. It's not the exterior exterior area that I want. This one is. No, it is not. I want to be down there. All right, maybe I can get down from here. Like, don't make your your uh, your places so complex, people. <sighs> Can't just jump off there. Rude. We want to go down another level, I think. Will this get us out? I think it will. There we go. We got here eventually. Wait, this is not? That is what I want. Alright. The treasure chest is locked. Ald unlocks it. Lot Ald finds a skull ring and puts it in the bag. A skull ring, huh? The treasure chest is locked. Ald unlocks it. Ald finds a moon axe and puts it in the bag. Nope. I've been forgotten to do a what. What? Ald finds a mini metal and puts it in the bag. Alright. Alright, so to uh, wrap things up, we got... Uh so, mysterious armor that reflects damage back at the enemy who inflicted it. We made that. There is our ultimate key. Un opens any treasure chest or door. Power shield. A shield that restores some of the user's hit points when used as an item in battle. Decent. Uh, raises the defense of all allies when used as an item in battle. We do have one of those. Sturdy armor made from an exotic metal. There's a seat of magic. At this point, I think that I want to use these on Jessica. Once a legendary blade, now just a rusty and chipped old sword. It still has attack of 45, though. 
double-edged sword, an ill-fated sword surrounded by an air of danger. Seat of Strength. Give that to Yangus. Strength increases by two. Hit points. It's going to go to Jessica. Four, uh, four hit points and a Seat of Wisdom. Wisdom increases by one. All right, magical armor that regenerates the wearer's hit points during battle. And Skull Ring, agility of 15, an eerie ring surrounded by an air of danger. And a Moon Axe, large axe in the shape of a crescent moon, attack of 60. All right, but that is going to be where we wrap it up this time. When we come back next time, there, I believe, is still some treasure left in the world to get. And we are going to want to do just that. See you next time, everyone.